This is the Asus Zenfone 7 Pro, and here it is taken apart. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Next, you need to heat the back plate up using a hair dryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath the back plate. And then you're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's the back plate. And it is glass. There are 18 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once all your screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the top plastic cover. So here's your NFC antenna, and you also have some antenna lines running throughout the plastic. Now it's time to disconnect the battery cable. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. You have three wire cables over here you need to pop off. There's this metal bracket or cover you need to remove. Just lift up and remove it. Here's a better look at that. We have more cables we need to disconnect now. There are three more Phillips screws which need to be removed. One here, one here, and one located here. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the main board. There are three catches down here. Just gotta slide them out. Here's a better look at your main board. You have one microphone located over here. This microphone seems to be a little larger than most microphones I've seen. Here's the back of the motherboard. You have copper tape and also thermal paste over here. There's another one of those larger microphones located over here. When you peel off the copper tape and remove the shield, you can see there's more thermal paste underneath on top of the chips. Here's a Qualcomm chip over here with the thermal paste cleaned off a little bit. Now let's remove the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at that. You have some graphite film over here. You also have some antenna lines running throughout the speaker assembly. Here's the back side, and here's your speaker over here. Now to the charger port board. There are two wire cables located here. You need to pop off. You have one flex cable here. You need to disconnect. Just pop it off. And there's a little bit of adhesive underneath the charger port board, so you're going to have to gently just pry it off. And you can remove it. Here's your charger port board. You have a rubber gasket around the charger port. And your main microphone is located over here. Another large microphone right there. You also have another wire cable over here, which is connected to what seems to be another antenna contact. Just pop it off. Now onto the battery. It does look like it has two adhesive pull tabs over here. So that will make it easier to pry off the battery. Now I assumed that would be easy, but I guess not. Both of them just easily tear off. So you're pretty much going to have to do it the old fashioned way. By applying some heat to the front of the phone, so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the battery. And then you're going to use a plastic pry tool to gently work your way around and pry the battery off. That wasn't too hard. At least prying this battery off wasn't that hard, even without the pull tabs. So here's a better look at the battery. And here's the back side. And taking a closer look, I guess these aren't adhesive pull tabs. So I was mistaken. I guess there are no easy pull tabs on this battery. You just have to just pry it off the regular way. Because as you can see, it's a very short strip. So this flex cable over here connects your charger port to your main board on top. Peel that off.
Peeling that off reveals a copper plate underneath it. This copper plate runs over here underneath the battery and through over here underneath the main board. You also have your screen cable over here, which runs through the slit in the mid frame. And here's your flex cable for your power button. This is two gold contacts. And this is the metal bracket holding it in place. There's a Phillips screw over here, which you need to remove. And also this flex cable over here is for your fingerprint reader. Once that Phillips screw is removed, you can lift up and remove this bracket. So here's a clicker for your power button right here. And the flex cable for your fingerprint reader is router right over here through the frame underneath the button over here. And the flex cable for your volume rocker or keys is right here. Now onto the flip camera assembly. There's one flip screw over here you need to remove. And underneath this cable, there's one more flip screw over here which needs to be removed. Once those are removed, we can lift up the brackets and remove the assembly. Here's the assembly itself. Now I'm not going to pry the assembly apart itself because I don't want to risk damaging it and rendering it useless. But there is a seam or line that runs around it, which basically you'd have to pry it open. Now there's another Phillips screw located here holding down this bracket. Once the screw is removed, you can maneuver out this bracket. You have these two flex cables over here, which are just extensions, which connect this board over here to your main board. So you just disconnect them the same way by popping them off. You also have two flex cables connected on either corner. And yet underneath this flex cable, there's another one you have to disconnect. Now this bottom board, which has your SIM card reader, is just held down with adhesive. So you're gonna have to gently pry it off. Here's a better look at that. Here's the back side. Then here you can see this copper block is basically sitting on top of two copper heat pipes which run underneath in between the screen and the mid frame. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. You see the copper heat pipe running underneath the copper block. Now as far as replacing the screen goes, you just basically have to heat the front up to loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen, around the edges of the screen. Then you'd pry a screen assembly from the mid frame itself. And you'd also have to peel off your flex cable over here, which is on the mid frame. Run it through the slit over here, get your new screen, run the cable back through, and reapply your new screen onto your mid frame. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all the screws are back in place, reapply your back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.